Kai Strubel will be attending Purdue University's Honor College as a stamped scholar this coming fall to study electrical engineering. During his time at Nozzle High School, Kai was the president of National Honor Society and the co-chair of United Way Youth as Resources. He led three United Way projects and won the Noblesville Exemplary Service Learning Award. Kai participated in tennis, speech team, key club, student government, and 4-H. Kai is a National Merit Scholar, Indiana Academic All-Star, AP Scholar with Honors, and Presidential Scholar semifinalist. He scored a perfect ACT and graduated with a GPA of 4.667. And now, please welcome your class of 2015 valedictorian Kai Schubel. First off, I have a confession to make. When I was in elementary school, I used to get so scared at the string musicals that I'd pass out on stage. Yeah, so one second I'm staring out at my family singing, It's a Small World. And the next thing I know, I'm staring at the ceiling. And right, right now, as I look out, the little kid in me is thinking, this is a really big venue, so wish me luck. <laughs> thank you, Abby, and thank you, Mr. Bryant, and the Noblesville faculty, staff, and administration for all that you have done for us these last four years. Sitting in their parents' garage, two college dropouts spend another night tinkering with circuit boards. They're broke and selling their prized possessions just to get by. But still, they obsess over every hole they drill, every wire they tweak. This may not sound like a recipe for success, but in fact, it was the beginning of a revolution. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, the founders of Apple, went on to change the world. Last week, many of us in the graduating class were forced to tears as we had to part ways and say our painful goodbyes. Oh, not with each other but with their school shoot iPads. <laughs> We'd grown accustomed to Flappy Bird, Google, online books, everything we needed instantly accessible at our fingertips. Being born in 1996, it's hard to imagine a world without this technology. Turning off our phones for standardized tests is like cutting off an arm. Yet 40 years ago, none of this existed. A reporter once asked Steve Jobs why he thought his company was so different. He replied, we're here to put a dent in the universe. And I really like the sound of that. We're here to put a dent in the universe. Now, in all likelihood, no matter how inspiring my next four minutes are today, we may not grow up to be billionaire visionaries like Steve Jobs or Bill Gates, but who's to say? We may not put a dent in the universe that these people with the right skills and the right vision and the right place at the right time were able to. But who's to say? However, we will be in the right place at the right time with the right skills and the right vision to put a dent in our universe. So let us consider a slightly more practical aspiration. We are here to put a dent in our universe, a universe made up of our friends, our jobs, our community. In short, all those we interact with on a daily basis. This means changing the world for your platoon your machine shop, your classroom. And here is the key. The key to making a dent is focus. Focus on your long-term goals and focus on the day-to-day -day impact you have on the world around you. I respect Steve Jobs not for his Apple products or his fame, but for his passion for his work. He tackled each day with an intense focus on making a difference. Today represents the transition from the safety and structure of high school to the daunting real world it's up to us to decide what impact you will have. Once you know where you want to make your dent, the question is how. We won't make a dent by waiting around for the one big opportunity. We make a dent by going in and putting our nose to the grindstone, working hard and seizing opportunities. We must constantly apply our talents and work to develop new ones. Albert Einstein once said, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Everyone brings a different set of skills to the table. It's up to us to hone them and determine how to utilize them to move us towards our goal. Some of you are known for your incredible voice, others for your steadfast optimism. My friends and I always go to the same lunch lady because she is so kind and friendly. 
She brings a cheery spirit to the lunchroom, and that is her dent in our universe. As you ponder the impact you will have on others, think of those who have had an impact on you. Today is not just a celebration of our achievements, but of all the individuals who helped us get here. Family, coaches, Noblesville High School administrators, and all of those individuals who made us who we are today. Thank them for the dent they've made in your universe. The way to make a dent is not in one bold stroke, but in the impact you have every day of your life on those around you. When you hold the door open for a stranger or bring a smile to the face of a fellow classmate in a difficult time, does some of these small actions define us? Michelangelo didn't create the Statue of David through one strong swing of the hammer, but through many small strikes of a chisel. Neither will your legacy be forged by any singular action. If a stranger were to ask one of your friends to describe you, what would they say? What would you want them to say? Look at each day as a new opportunity to change the world around you. Your long-term dream is there to give you the drive. But your greatest impact will be the ripple effects of your daily interactions with others. Steve Jobs said, the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Class of 2015, you can put a dent in the universe. Thank you very much.